Welcome to Nook and Cranny Gaming. My name is Nook, and in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to beat the Deacons of the Deep boss in Dark Souls 3. Starting off in the first half of this fight, your target should always be the red glowing Deacon, so keep an eye out for the one that has the red aura. I suggest using a weapon that has a wide hit radius on it. This way you're going to be attacking several of these enemies at once instead of just one at a time. In this first part of the fight, you're just going to be chasing around the red aura enemy and trying to kill it before the red aura leaves. Also, it should be noted that these more um, rotund deacons can be knocked over and they will stagger all of the enemies that they run into when they fall. This is a great way to get into the group after a target or out of the group if you get trapped. If you do get trapped and you get hit a little bit, just make your way out of the group and heal up and go back in for a few more strikes. But watch out for the fireballs. Once you've taken away a third of the health bar, a new deacon will appear, which is constantly glowing red. He has two blue bodyguards as well as four of the regular bigger deacons. Now this is where things would usually get tricky, but if you packed a few alluring skulls with you, this is going to be a breeze. Throw an alluring skull away from your target and the whole congregation will be attracted to it. Now is your opportunity to run in and wail on that deacon. Not only are you going to put a big hurt on the main deacon, but you're going to be able to stop him from doing certain spells, which is going to put you at a major advantage in this fight. Also, it should be noted that these taller deacons will sometimes raise their wands and start casting some kind of spell. If a certain number of them begin to chant, then your curse meter will start rising. In order to stop the curse meter, all you have to do is do damage to one of the taller deacons. Killing it will even delay when this happens again even longer. Another attack that you should definitely watch out for if you're too far away to stop it is when all the congregation raises their chimes into the air and start chanting. What's happening here is all of this dark energy is going to gather up and come after you. And what this can do is put a lot of curse on you and do a lot of health. I had this one hit me several times before. But if you rush in and hit the main deacon, you can stop this from happening. But the real strategy here is just using the alluring skulls to gather the congregation elsewhere while you wail on the lead deacon. Eventually they'll all be too distracted to realize that their leader is dying and you'll receive the small doll and the soul of the Deacons of the Deep. The small doll will grant you access to an area later in game. And with the Deacons of the Deep soul you can create the Deep Soul Sorcery, as well as the Cleric's Candlestick. Just remember that alluring skulls are your key to success in this fight. Make sure to check out my other Dark Souls 3 videos here, or my new Explained series here. The first episode's all about how Zelda might actually be the villain of that franchise. If you liked the video, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to talk to you, and I will see you in the next guide.